Welcome, welcome. All right, so today, hey Jennifer. Today we have our Mobility 101. We will need a PVC pipe if you have it. Um, if you don't have a PVC pipe, a Swiffer sweeper stick would work, or broomstick would work. Um, even a towel rolled up, you know, like you're psh, about to whip somebody, that'll work too. Um, yeah, so go ahead and grab that, and we're gonna go ahead and get going. Uh, today again is about mobility, and we're gonna be doing some, some pushing through some ranges of motion. We're trying to open up new ranges of motion, okay? So we're gonna start out with these dowel rolls first, just over our head, okay? And so with these dowel rolls, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our arms nice and straight and don't shrug those shoulders up into the neck. Keep the neck nice and long. Keep the shoulders back down the spine. If you uh, need to keep your arms wide, totally cool. If you wanna to start to work on increasing your shoulder range of motion and your shoulder mobility, you can start to slowly inch your arms up um, closer together, like you see how mine are doing. You'll see that that's a little deeper stretch. Now we're gonna do a couple more here, just trying to warm up those shoulders, okay? And today really isn't about pain, okay? If you start to feel pain and very, a whole lot of um, uncomfortableness, that's a word. <laughs> Stop what you're doing, back off a little bit, okay? Listen to your body. All right, so now the next one, we're gonna go into our helicopters. On those helicopters, my folks that know what you're doing, you're gonna go ahead and do those for 10. The ones that we don't, we're gonna keep one arm down to the side while the opposite arm comes up and around our head and makes us back down by our hip and then the opposite arm can go. Ooh, I'm pretty close to that fan, huh? <laughs> Fight one fire. All right, so we have 10 of these that we're gonna go ahead and do. Really warming up those shoulders because we do have a lot of shoulder work we're doing, some press ups we're doing. Trying to really keep those arms straight the whole time. Once you get 10 going around, let's go ahead and Take it back the opposite way. And let's get 10 the opposite way. Log it in. Who we got? Hi. What's up, lady? Glad you glad you can make it. Perfect. Once you get 10 to the left, 10 to the right, we're gonna go down into some overhead squats with the PVC pipe, okay? So do a couple more here. Oh, if you haven't started your yoga session on your watch, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start mine too. Be some good calories. All right, so now we have our overhead squat. Our arms are going up overhead and you can see that my hands are back by my ears. My arms are not in front of my face. They're in line with my ears. My feet are shoulder width apart and I'm gonna turn my toes out just a little bit. All my weight and my feet are gonna go to the outside of my feet and I'm gonna sit my butt straight down. All right, into my bottom squat. Core is tight and I'm gonna push right back up, okay? For some of us, you might start to feel that you're sticking your butt out and that's not the way. Do not tilt your hips back, okay? Tuck your hips under and keep them tucked under. If that means that this is your range of motion, that's okay. Start to try to push down a little bit deeper and then come on back up. Let's get 10 of these all the way down. If you're feeling good about this and wanna try some stuff with the PVC pipe, you can roll it forward, roll it backward, back over top of your head, and then stand back up, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and check out your L's form, but you guys see what we're doing. Kayla, tuck your hips under, my lady. Better. Try not to push that butt out at all. Winston, I need you a little bit wider in your squat stance. So you look good. Hey guys, if you're ever wanting to have me critique you, Zoom is the way to go. If you're looking for that link for Zoom, it's in the link in my bio. I got 50% off of my personal training memberships online, so go ahead and grab those, okay? Finish out, guys. We should be around eight, nine, okay? All right. And on that 10th one, we're gonna come up, we're gonna drop that PVC pipe, and we're gonna come back down into that goblet squat. And I want you to take those elbows, push your knees out, okay? Pushing your knees out is gonna make sure that you keep that arch in your foot, all right? Legs are wide, chest is up, heart is to the sky, but my, also my glutes are nice and, and engaged here, okay? We're sitting in here just for a little bit of time. Stay seated, I'm just gonna give you guys a profile view so you guys can see that. When I come down into my goblet squat, I'm pushing out, my chest is up, and my chest is in line with my shins. That's always how you want your squats, okay? All about the angles, 
making sure that the shins, my shin is going this way, my chest should be the same way, okay? Hold in here another 10 seconds. Really trying to sit up nice and tall. Scoot the butt underneath the hips. All right, three, two. We can go ahead and stand on back up. We're gonna get in there um, for some inchworms, okay? We're gonna add the push-ups since today is mobility, but I still want us to do a little bit of strength. We're gonna go into our inchworm. We'll have 10 inchworms. If people know what inchworms are, go ahead and get going. If you don't, listen up, we got our feet narrow so our feet are going to be stacked underneath our hips okay let me give you guys this angle right here feet stacked underneath our hips we're going to walk out inchworm okay just like we did our upper extremity series inchworm our hands are right underneath our shoulders my gaze is up so i can come down into this push-up i'm going to push back pike back and then i'm going to walk back up all right and we got 10 of those okay so we're coming down make sure that you keep your gaze up on your push-up guys it's very important because I see all too often, even in myself, when my gaze is not up, my neck tries to go and do the work on the push-up, okay? So I'll show you what I'm talking about on those inchworms profile view. If you don't keep that neck up or that gaze up, your neck is gonna wanna do this. We don't wanna do that. We wanna keep our gaze up and bring our chest to the floor. All right, push back, walk up. If you need to modify to your knees, that's A-OK. -okay. Go ahead and get your 10 in. Check your own form. Make sure to keep that core tight. That belly button should be right into the spine. You should be trying to hold that belly button tight into the spine, OK? Everything's tight. All right, walking out. Should be warming up. A good little clammy sweat should be coming on. Good pike back. Good. Again, keep that gaze up. If you need to modify it to your knees, this is where it is. All right. Pike back, push back up, pike back. And then on up. I don't know why that keeps going off. Keep it going. I'm gonna finish those 10. I'm gonna get a couple more where I feel like I'm at is eight. Sometimes I lose track. A lot of times I lose track. That's okay. Go to it feels good. And then go a little bit more. Don't start to hurt. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Now that we got those, we're gonna come on down and we're gonna do what's called groiners. We're gonna start to really open up those hips, okay? So on the groiners, we're in the plank position. Okay? Our feet are back. I'm gonna take my right foot and bring it up to my hand. I'm gonna sink my hips down and I'm gonna open my chest up. All right, come on back down, switch to the other side, really trying to only let the leg that's involved move, okay? If you're finding that it's a little difficult to get your foot all the way up, if it stops here, that's okay. Just make sure you're sinking those hips down in, get a good stretch in that groin area and then open it up. Again, everything should be really tight. Everything's intentional here. Push those hips down. Good stretch. We have 10 total moves that we're doing. Left and right will equal two. Good twist. You might start to fill this out in your side of your hip, which is good too. There we go, we'll finish a couple more. And then we're gonna come right into child's pose, okay? Finish out this last one. Good, meet me on in child's pose, okay? Knees are down, toes are tucked. Push on back. All right. Trying to really push those, those sit bones into the heels, okay? Push back. Big deep breath in. Let it out. I want you to take your left hand, feed it through your right hand, okay? We're gonna get into a little bit of PNF stretching, okay? We'll keep it PNF for short because we're not here for informational walkthrough of the anatomy and 
physiology and all the biomechanics and everything that happens inside the body. I'm just going to tell y'all what we're going to do. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to start to do is we're going to start to walk that hand out as much as we can and walk this hand up as much as we can. You should start to feel tension inside of your shoulder blades. All right, you're going to hold that. What I'm doing now is I'm pushing my left shoulder down into the ground. All right. Sue, you must be getting hot. I see you taking off the, that jacket. <laughs> Perfect. Big deep breath in. Keep pushing that left shoulder down into the ground. Open up the space inside of the shoulder blades. Three, two, and come out of that slowly. Back into child's pose. Pushing those hips back some more. All right. Deep breath in, take that opposite hand through, walk it all the way out to where that shoulder is down on the ground. Walk that left hand up high, and now press that right shoulder down into the ground. Get a good stretch. We're trying to get a good stretch right in here, guys. Good stretch. Sink those hips down into the ground, down into your heels. Big deep breath in. Let it out, come on back. We're gonna come up into tabletop position. Now tabletop position, we're gonna stay on our knees, okay? I'm digging my toes in, and we're gonna do some shoulder rolls, guys. So we're just gonna roll our shoulders, okay? Now, if you're finding that your body is not wanting to cooperate with you on this, odds are you probably should do these a lot more than what we're doing. <laughs> Maybe every day is good, right after you get out of bed, we're going forward for 10, all the way up and around. And once you get 10 forward, which is, I like to go forward first because it's the most challenging, we're gonna go 10 reverse, okay? So you're just gonna shrug the other way, all right? 10 reverse is actually a little bit easier for me. Push all the way up through, come back down and around, shoulder rolls. Good. Once you get 10, we're gonna go up and we're gonna hold tabletop position. Have hold. I'm just trying to turn on those quads because we're about to get ready to start into those legs a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, before we get into those quads though, we're going to finish out the last one. Flip one over to your back, the last one on our shoulders. We're going to put our hands behind our back, okay? And for some of you guys, you might be able to just come all the way straight down like this. For others, it might be a little challenge depending on, depending on how tight your shoulders are. You might have to right, raise your hips up and then slide your hands under. But either way, how you, whatever, however you gotta get there, just get there. Remember, pull that belly button into the spine. My low back is pushing down into my hands now. And I just want you to lay here just for a moment and start to feel those shoulder caps releasing. In just a few seconds, we're gonna start to push those elbows down into the ground, okay? We're gonna hold that for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna let go. So take that deep breath in, let it out, and start to push those shoulder blades down, or excuse me, push the elbows down into the ground. Now, keep the shoulders down on the ground. The shoulders shouldn't be doing anything funky. It should only be the elbows moving down into the ground. Three, two, and relax. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our elbows up off the ground, but not moving the shoulders. The shoulders shouldn't shrug off the ground. The shoulders should stay, the elbows should move. Ready, deep breath in, and pull those elbows off the ground. Again, it's gonna take a little bit of concentration to keep those shoulder blades down on the ground while those elbows move high. Hold it up. Four, three, two, and rest it. We come out of that, we'll shake that out real quick. We're gonna do that one more time, all right? Shake them out, shake them out. All right, when you're ready, put them back under. Opposite hand now, so if that left hand was, or excuse me, if that right hand was on top, that left hand is gonna be on top now, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and, oh, my right hand. There we go, take a deep breath in. And let it out, start to push those elbows down into the ground, try to open up the chest, roll the shoulders back towards the ground too. Big push, big push. Five, four, three, two, 
and rest that. Good, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick up our elbows. Deep breath in, pick up the elbows. They should lift a little bit higher than what they did the last time. Keep picking them up, shoulder blades stay back as much as possible. Pull high to the sky as much as you can, good stretch. Three, two, and rest up out of that. Oh yeah. So we're already here, let your legs fly heavy. We got a butterfly pose, okay? We're gonna let our legs fly heavy here. And the first butterfly pose is gonna be lying down since we're already here. I just want you to take your hands onto your thighs. Our toes are together, our feet are together. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna start to push our thighs down to the ground. Deep breath in and push those thighs down to the ground. Open up those hips a little bit more. Do not let the low back arch off the ground, okay? Try to keep that low back flat. We don't wanna arch the belly, okay? Low back is flat. Push, three, two, and rest that. For our second part of our butterflies, we're gonna sit up, okay? Just like we would do in our hamstring stretch, we're gonna bend from our waist, and we're gonna let our waist push our legs down, okay? So start to bend from your waist, and start to push those knees down to the ground. All right, keep pushing, hold that, Get, get a get deep push, a big push. We're gonna hold that five more seconds, really trying to pull those knees down to the ground. Three, two, and let that go. Oh, hello. Hello, inside thighs. Now we're gonna go to the outside of those internal rotators of the hips, okay? I'm gonna face you guys so you guys can kind of see what my feet are doing, okay? So we're here, my feet are together. What I want you to do is start to heel toe your feet out to the outside of your body, okay? Excuse me, mine are gonna be a little bit wider here so that I can actually get all the way down, but we're gonna to start to let our knees drop in towards the ground, okay? Ooh, you should start to really feel this on those outside of your hips, deep into your hip, those internal rotators, all right? I want you guys to slowly start to push your body forward and take a deep breath in. When you let it out, pull those knees down to the ground gently. It should be a good fire up into those hips. Ooh, yeah. Keep pushing down to the ground. Check out my feet too, they're actually out. I'm not, my feet aren't here, my feet are out. Come on, three, two, and one. Ooh, yes, let's come back out to our butterfly pose, sitting up nice and tall again from here. Push in, like we're going into that hamstring stretch. Push in for, from your belly, and start to drive those knees down to the ground. Chest is up, heart is to the sky, right? Big deep breath in, drive those knees down. Five, four, three, two, and rest that, come on out of that. Last round on those internal rotators, if you want heel toe them out. Again, let those knees fall. Ooh. My internal rotators are tight. But this is a great one to open up, all right? It's a really, really good one. All right, my right one wants to go a little bit further on my left. If you've got good balance and you can sit up while you're doing this and start to push down into your knees, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Let it out and start to push down into the ground. Push, hardest to the sky. Remember, we should not feel pain here. It should be good stretches, deep stretches. Five, four, three, two. Oh yeah. All right, let me check that out. Perfect. All right, so the next one we're gonna go ahead and do is a figure four flump from the floor, okay? Usually our figure fours, we're sitting up, but this one we're gonna go from the floor. So I like to think about the angles, okay? So I'm not so much worried about the back leg as I am making sure that that front leg stays nice and straight and we're protecting that, that knee. If you can get that back leg behind you fully and straight, kudos to you, perfect, right on, okay? If you can and you need a little slight bend, that's A-OK, -okay, okay? What I want you guys to focus on is bringing this right hip down into the ground at when I say go, okay? So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna push down into the ground with that right hip. You're gonna to start to feel that left hip 
that external rotator on the back side start to open up right inside that, those glutes, okay? So let's go ahead and let's start to drive that right hip down to the ground. I am pushing forward. If you're feeling comfortable and you can come down into your elbows, totally do that. It's a really good stretch. Keep pushing. And where you should be pushing is that right hip down towards the ground. Three, two, and rest. Come out of that just for a moment. We're gonna stay to the same side. We're gonna go again, okay? Now this time, what I'm looking for is that left knee to also be pushed down into the ground, okay? So let's go ahead and take that position again. That right hip is starting to roll down to the ground. If you can drive yourself down, perfect, that's good. Right hip's rolling down, left knee, push it down into the ground, fire up that glute. Keep pushing, 10 seconds. Don't forget to breathe here, big deep breath in. Three, two, one. Let it out, let it go. Oh yeah, that's a really great one, okay? If you have any type of hip problems or if you're finding out that you can't go as low uh, into your goblet squat like we were doing in the beginning of this session, uh, this exercise is definitely one you should do and every day is a-okay, okay? It takes 20 seconds on each side. It's a really good stretch. We're gonna go to the opposite side. Remember angles, I like to make sure that my foot is up and nice and taut so it's protecting my knee, okay? You guys know I have some knee problems. Well, had, don't have them now. <laughs> Thanks to stretching and strengthening. Here we go. Start to roll that left hip down. Now this right hip is just a little bit tighter on this side, all right? Roll it down. Big deep breath in. Keep pushing that left hip down to the ground. Three, two, and one. Roll on out of that. Stay right there just for a moment. We're gonna go right back into this. The goal here, guys, if you haven't caught on to it yet, is each time we go into that second set, you should be getting deeper into your stretch. You're really trying to push through the range of motion that you already have, okay? Comfortably, it should not be painful, okay? Here we go. Um, I'm gonna find myself down on the ground already. Start to roll that left hip down into the floor. Push that right knee down into the floor. Go ahead and push, big deep breath in. Let it out, we got 10 seconds. Keep pushing that left knee, or excuse me, that left hip down into the ground, that right knee down into the ground. Push, three, two, and come on out of that. Oh, yeah. All right, so one of my next favorite ones, all right, my scorpion. I want you guys to proceed with caution on this one, okay? This is a really good back stretch, okay? Um, but also, great for the hip flexors too. If you guys are sitting all day at those, those computers, nine to five at home, you know, catch yourself sitting, it's a really good stretch to open up the whole frontal chain, the whole interior chain of the body, okay? So what we're gonna do is have our arms straight out, legs are straight. What we're trying to do is take this left leg and we're gonna take it up and we're gonna pull it over, cross our body. If you're nice and limber and you can grab that toe with that right hand go ahead and do that all right i like to look into the position into the uh, the way that we're actually moving here all right and now what we're going to do is we're going to start to try to pull that left hip back down to the ground while we're holding on let's go ahead and pull pull three two one, go ahead and let that go. Good. Big deep breath in. Lift that right leg up. Take that right leg over. If you can again grab it with that foot, go or with that hand, go ahead and start to slowly pull that right hip. Of course, it's not going to go anywhere. Pull the right hip down to the ground. It's okay, Briggs. Good, three, two, and rest. And he's made his appearance, guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Rich, slowly down. Go. Go. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, what we have left is a hip mobility, okay? This last one that we were gonna go into is hip mobility. We're gonna keep our feet in a goblet squat, okay? So we're gonna come down into a goblet squat here. 
And what I'm looking for is for you to drop your knee down to touch the ground. What I want is to try to make sure that our body stays straight forward, okay? This is the goal right here. All right, we have 10 of these. This is a challenge. All right, so you try to keep your body straight on towards me. All that weight to the outside of that uninvolved leg at the time. Drop it down, bring it back up. Drop it down, bring it back up. Good, we just have 10 of these. We'll be done for the day. Hey, stop. Go lay down. Two, one, and done. Whew. Good job today on this mobility session. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see what you, hey, Ninja Anna. Good to see you, my lady. Good to see all you guys come on here for today. Good mobility session, guys. Um, my Zoomers, you all still have your all's workout, so go ahead and hop on that workout. If you got time to do it now, go ahead and just bust it out now. For my Instagrammers, if you don't know what I'm talking about on the Zoom, it's because you haven't clicked the link in my bio. Go ahead and click it, it's 50% off. You can go ahead and get your membership now. Um, it has 100% of all your workouts that you'll need every single day. Go ahead and get that in. If you have any questions, let me, guys, let me know if you guys. Otherwise, go ahead and rock it out, get it in. And I'll see you guys again. I'm gonna go ahead and post this IG live TV um, soon. All right, thank you all for coming on. Peace, family.